Howdy and welcome back to the Salty Show and welcome back to our Colchis campaign episode 27 with the DEI overhaul mod on Total War Rome 2. If you enjoyed today's episode, please like, subscribe as always, and tick that bell icon to be notified when I post videos like this and others. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Let me take a breath there too. So, where we last left off, we made some massive gains against the Cartavelli Empire, securing Armavir, Meschiti, their capital, Farsar. I'm butchering all of these names, I apologize. Crone, uh, Armasata as well. <clears throat> Basically, we've secured five five provinces six technically if you include some sosa but we are hoping to get that one to rebel soon so we can establish a client state in that region in syria it would give us a foothold in that region that we would need to push inwards but without destabilizing our area Commander. other than that we are also building up for a ground war against the Arthan to secure our uh, Two provinces they have. Greetings, friend. Let us use. There doesn't seem to be any diplomatic repercussions, but we're gonna let our armies fully replenish before we go in there and try to go to town on them. Uh, we're gonna keep the current calf layout we have. Meanwhile, our our bacillus is all the way down here, linking up with our new client state, as they've uh, spread themselves quite thin. What do you, but, uh, no, sorry, sorry for the, uh, mistalk there. I'm trying to think of what we need to do. We're recruiting a force there. We have one bordering here, ready to take Tushpa. We can move our spy back this way. And along with that, we can level up some of these regions, perhaps. We are also finishing recruitment of the Navy to hold off against Rome. If they proceed to launch any naval invasions. I don't really want to level up. Masakao's going to level up. It's going to take... Really, we need sanitation in this region. Like, really bad. Anywhere that doesn't have the sanitation building, we kind of need. But I think we're actually... I'm going to end the turn. I don't want to spend too much money anywhere. So, I'll see you all on the other side. Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Unturned. Ignore my dog in the background. Hopefully that won't continue. He's on the couch right now, and he's learning to figure out how to get down from the couch. Rebellion imminent in Syria, that's exactly what we want. So long as they don't go... So long as they don't go north. Didn't even think about that really, but... Finger crossed they won't. A year in history, 250 BC. Let's actually take a look at that as well. Uh, you definitely need... Line of, why not just get that line of sight? Cultural's nice. We'll keep the rest there. Oh boy, he's upset. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go deal with that. All right. Welcome back, everybody. I'm sorry about those multitude of cuts already. He's inside with me, so we'll see if he stays quiet. I doubt it, but we're trying over here. I'm glad we actually get to see what our ally is working with here. His army is not too bad. It's actually really good. It's running low on actual forces but it seems like this was an elitist uprising persian apple bearers mercenaries shield bearers satrap guard elite infantry yeah this was a this appears to be a royal uprising how interesting now we have eyes on odessa and the army has moved but they do hold quite a lot of land south of odessa so could have easily moved that way. They do own, obviously, Slukia as well, still. Apokhtan is their acting capital. However, they are running desperately low, I would assume, on locations as they've hit the wall of Atropakhtan, who thankfully seem to be holding them at bay. 
in the east. Yeah, they have a full line of settlements here. Hopefully they can continue to hold while we pressure them from this side. With that Ready said, for... though, pressure... At your command. Ready for order. We cannot take Gabala this turn, but we can declare one on the Arthon and take Tushpa. And I believe we're going to do that. Since they were a ally of the Cartil Empire, we want to make sure that we eliminate any resistance or support of that horrible kingdom. Wow, we are actually going to siege them out, I believe. Take a lot of casualties if we outright attack. Yeah, well, we're suffering attrition, but so will they. Along with that, we can use this army here, which is ready, ready to go. Orders. We can march. So they are going to have the garrison assistance. Along with two armies of some high quality troops. Certain areas, anyways. We'll have to see if our army can hold out. We hunger for battle. I would put them in a stance if I could, but we probably will retreat from the fight because we don't want to handle the city as well if they attack us, which they should. They would uh, serve better if they did. Take a gander elsewhere. Take additional regions in this province. Ah, okay. Making sure I pick the right sanitation building there with that all as well our navy is done see how big of an economic boom it is to move them outside the fleet or outside the port it's not too bad um i wonder how bad is piracy in this region oh it's pretty bad Okay, so patrolling really does, it really does a good bit of work. I don't remember how much it needs. 35%. So we're starting to patrol the straits where we're getting a lot of trade through here anyways, so this is pretty pretty uh, role-playing honestly we have our main navy patrolling the straits into the Black Sea so all right well, we've set them up we're gonna slowly move them further into the Aegean or the uh, yeah the Aegean Sea to counter Roman naval activity potentially raiding their cities or their coastline seeing what they have against us they have however they do appear to be focusing on Carthage at the moment as you can see with two navies down here and three legions. Three strong legions, too. And yeah, we're gonna need to keep a close eye as Carthage has obviously been marooned to Karelius. And um, who knows how much longer they have to live. They own most of their or their Iberian holdings and their Mauritanian holdings, but as for Africa itself, they've lost a lot except this region over here. Egypt's going strong. Why is there a Pergamon army down there? Interesting, to say the least. Alrighty. So guys, hopefully we're going to get a battle this episode. I'm going to end the turn and find out. Alrighty, welcome back everybody to the, the battlefield. So the Ardhan did attack us at their capital of Kabbalah. We retreated and they are pursuing with their main force. I'm going to be honest guys, this is going to be somewhat of a tougher fight as we're going against some pretty strong units such as the Cartavelli Foot Champions or Cartavellian Champions. Armenian Azad Nobles. Their general of course, Cartavelli Foot Guard over here. There are some mercenaries thrown into the bunch and levies, but for the majority of this army, it is a elitist force led by, I want to say it's their king. So, he is sallying out to truly contest our control of the Caucasus Mountains. 
So we formed a defensive box as best our general could come up with where hopefully they engage our front lines and left and right flanks, allowing our interior forces here, the swordsmen and peltis, to flank around the sides. We'll probably send two peltis, three swords to the left flank, one sword, one peltis to the right flank, supported by our Scythian hired lancers. As one thing they are lacking is a numerous calf force. The first shots are about to be loosed against the Azat Knights who decide to test our battle line. Probably a not a very smart idea. Now that is going to hurt our line, but they are about to really... They, oh yeah. That unit will suffer the consequences of their actions. With that, though, their battle line is far spread a lot bigger than ours. As long as they don't notice our Lancers, we're okay. That cav unit is breaking. They do appear to be doing exactly what we want. They are starting to circle in. This could be a good time to knock their general out. Our cav have been spotted, so it's time to move out. Cartavellian Highlanders there. They're trying to target our general. The enemy general is dead. Their general has fallen due to his arrogance. Go ahead and make sure we knock out that high tier cav unit as it's retreating. Keep moving around the sides here. Beyond is suffering grave casualties. We might need to pull him out as fast as possible. Move our peltus around the sides here. Try and break their right flank. A glorious rear charge. As our brave hoplites hold and the swordsmen protect the flank. Oh, their left flank has crumbled. Turn our general around. Their right flank has also fallen. With the loss of their arrogant general, this army will crumble. Oh, 
they do have good units, but they're no match for, hopefully, the determination of our men. Our pike walls are holding very strong. And then over here, it's a real bloodbath. Oh yeah, we're we're really wrecking them. Continue mopping up their flanks. Thankfully, the cavalry is mopping up any range they have, and our royal, our Scythian archers did the rest. So we've now divided their two unit, or their two sides in the left and right flank, <clears throat> and it's time we finish the job. is trying to pull back for whatever reason but we're not going to let that happen our archers are out of ammo so it's time to pull them out unlike the peltis i don't trust them in a melee Try and pull our cav out of this. Scythians did take some damage there. Move our general to the right flank as it seems to be struggling just a little bit more. We await your orders. We have no fear. Another glorious rear charge as they have nothing to surround protect themselves with. Oh, and that might have routed them. Yeah, their left flank is crumbling. They truly cannot hold against the might of the Focus Kingdom. Oh yeah, they're running now. Anyone that remains is going to get cut down. Leave it to this one man to miss the memo. Pull the cab out there before they mess up. And we'll go ahead and speed this up. As we've got them right, really right where we want them. Right into the rear. Yeah, it's gonna start causing a chain route. Yep, keep the pressure on. Pull the cab out just to make sure they don't break or die unnecessarily. Oh yeah, the crumbling kingdom. That is all the Ardhan had to offer in defense of their land other than their city garrison but everybody i'll see you back on the campaign map Alrighty, welcome back everybody welcome to the aftermath of the battle here right outside of gabala golden sword going to of course the scythian calves and we are going to kill the captives Gathering 
All the remains of their forces are now diminished. And I'm going to continue the end turn just to end it all out. We should be pretty close by the end turn, so hopefully it's not too long of a wait. Now we're already done. Thankfully. Alrighty. With being said, a new political appointment has been made that we didn't do, and there is now a high chance of civil war. So we need to check our our uh we need to check our politics this turn, it seems. Construction was done, which is really good. But furthermore, can level up these brave warriors. We're gonna get wall breachers, medium siege engines, and unrelenting force. We hunger for battle. Now their army is still Ready somewhat strong. So engaging them along with the garrison force might not be enough. Armenian as at knights. 466, Jesus Christ. Let's go ahead and grab one of them to replace that unit. I don't really want to get rid of any of the pikes. This cav unit fought bravely, but it does need to be replaced. Ready for battle. I'm going to quick save here. Before we do this, let's look at our political system right now. Risk is 13%, not necessarily as high as they said, but this unit, they do not like it for some. It hates barbarians and their pacifist eye. So we're going to secure their loyalty. That's going to significantly, yeah, it's going to diminish the risk and get rid of it. Imperial Mobile, and they do, yeah, they hate Barbarians. There isn't much we can do, and I don't think we can do the... I do want to check. Yeah, no, we still can't do that. It's so crazy. We can work on securing his loyalty, perhaps? Can you do that, actually? I do not remember. Securing, securing the promotion would give him a couple things along with some loyalty. But really, he's at negative seven right now. We can keep it there. He should be okay. So we've solved the potential political crisis. Chances are going up. That's good. So we're going to continue that siege. And now over here, at Gabala. Yes, so they still hold the vast majority. Retreat! We are going to retreat, however, we are going to besiege the settlement. We're going to make them attack us. As I doubt they will uh, wait any longer. Aqueduct here is done. We do want to go ahead and work on this. We are not getting a lot from farming, I would assume. 29% is okay. However, that extra unit replenishment would probably be better served. Let's go ahead and get that. And the rebellion is growing down here in Samasosa. Let's just continue to hope they go the right way. We for We've got four of them, three Colchis skirmishers. We could get proper Peltis, actually. That might be worth it. They cost a fair bit more, but... Why not? This is the this is the future king's army, hopefully, or at least one of his brothers. So we want them to be prepared. Especially since they're on the front line to Rome. Which let's go ahead and move this fleet further into the Aegean Sea. 
and continue to patrol. But along with that, everybody, oh, continue moving our agent. We can see Palmery, so we don't need any keep her there and deploy a spy. And without further ado, we could march our king, our Bacillus, north to aid a Gabala. But I think we're going to try and keep the pressure up. You have further orders. It's currently sitting at negative six. Cultural differences, taxes, eh, provincial instability should decrease that. Let's continue our push south. Hmm, so they do have an army here. We hunger for battle. Yeah! So perhaps we could draw them out. We can't raid the region, so we'll maintain our position right here. Their army is damaged, though, so I'm assuming it's coming from the front line. Also, there's so many Saluka agents right here. I meant to show you all this earlier. This is ridiculous. But thankfully, they're not targeting us yet. But everybody, I'm going to end the turn here, and we'll see what happens. All right, everybody. So I'm going to end it here as the intern has been cut off by a battle with the rem remnants of the Ardhan forces. They do have a full stack garrison, but we've handled these guys before. They do still have some good units, and we are somewhat diminished. But hopefully Beyond can prove his loyalty to the kingdom and the empire eventually uh, through the victory of securing Gabala. However... I know I'm cutting this episode a little short, but I am out of time today to record. I do apologize, but this gives us a battle to look forward to right out the gates for the next episode. But if you enjoyed today's episode, if you enjoyed its length <laughs> and the cuts that we made because of dogs, once again, do like and subscribe as always, and tick that bell icon to be notified when I post videos like this and or others. But without further ado, everyone, I hope you all have a great week or weekend whenever you watch this. This has been The Salty Show. Peace out.